It's DJ Holiday and Ebony, a.k.a. the Avery's. Stay tuned. Dinner with the Avery's episode 44. Back at it again, of course, man. One and only DJ Holiday. And with me, as always, uh, my screensaver. My, oh, my you wife. Just, you just Ooh, did that. I got a bad woman on my oh, screensaver. Like I huh? love that, that picture. That look was at, the kids at look, first. Look at your rump shaker. <laughs> hey, uh, everybody. What's up, girl? What's up? How you feeling? You a little tired today? I'm very tired. Man, well, you know what? When you selling out shit on Risky B Designs, then that's the, the lifestyle it comes with. I'm sorry. My Booked and busy. My lifestyle is always being tired. I'm a mom what? of two. So, what about a hu- a wife of one? Exactly, I'm a mom of two with a husband and a house and two businesses. And Ooh! Well, stop. Like so it. I'm always tired. But think about it. It could have been something else. You could have been a lazy, boring, not doing shit on the couch, Instagram model, going to the club every weekend trying to find a nigga. Ugh. But you're not. But you know what? If I would have been doing that, I would have been getting a lot of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing you said all year. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anywho, uh, Labor Day weekend just passed. Of course, uh, shout out to Ludacris. We want to give a big shout out to Ludacris because uh, uh, like two or three people in his staff said they listened to our podcast they have before. And it was uh, they were just you know shouting us out. But uh, nevertheless, like I said, Labor Day weekend passed. Labor Day weekend passed. Mm-hmm. Um, I won. Well, me and my team won. The commission. Uh, the commission. We won. um Second annual, uh, not the second annual, but your second year in a row. My second year in a row winning you the bowling, the tournament. bowling yes. tournament. Yes, Luda and don't none of them DTP niggas don't want no smoke. So yeah, I'm y'all sorry. basically, if you should have took a picture of the score, a nigga on my team, y'all, he bowled a two hundred and six. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck you do that shit. I don't think I've ever bowled more than like one. And you know what's crazy? Because Sarah bowled really high too. She was yes. like at 180 or something. So, in order to obtain this 260 shit, I mean 206 thing, he, after he was done with his 10 spread thing, he, got he, he striked strike. like nine times after that. It's amazing. And this nigga is a hood nigga from the east side. <laughs> Straight up, he's ah, how are you gonna go to call smoke times after the 10th? After the 10th frame, you know, you can keep going and it doesn't stop until you keep until you uh um, really? don't I hit all. You only could do three. No, oh, really, you can oh. keep going till that shit go. Never, you can bust a 300 if you want to, yeah. But anyway, so east side nigga, retarded strength. I don't know why he went to the car, smoked the blunt, came back, and, and this nigga bought a 206. I've never seen no shit like that in my life, but. <laughs> Thank you, Ludacris, for the trophy again. Uh, everybody was there. I had a great time. Oh, guess what? I dragged your ass, too. Though. You what? went to all the clubs. Oh, yeah. I, and you know what? I can't hang. Yes, but can. guess what I attempted to do for the very first time, guys? What? I attempted to make macaroni and cheese. Yes. Attempted. Can y'all give her a round of applause for effort? Now, we're not applauding for taste, but no. We're just going to do effort. Uh, I attempted to do it. The next time I do it, it will be better. I have this strong time, confidence it will be good. This time, it was not nasty. It just, I used this uh, pink Himalayan salt, which I've never used before. And I did not know it's not as salty as regular salt. So, my mac and cheese lacked a little salt. It tastes, I like, thought, it tastes, it tastes like Boston Market. <laughs> I was nervous, though, because I was like, I'm putting this salt in here. What if it's going to be too salty? And I never used pink Himalayan salt, so I was super nervous. And because of that, my I needed more salt. So I, once you added the salt to the mac and cheese, it was good. Was it good. wasn't good? It was good. Oh, you sitting there looking at me like. I'm looking at you listening to what you're saying. Oh, okay. But, yeah, so next time I know. It was good. <laughs> Come to my head. Go ahead. It was good. I won't make it again. How about oh, that? I'm anyway, so next time I know what to do if I choose to make it again, which I won't after this time. It's, that was it. So I did it, Why was and that it's over it? and done with. You ain't going to make it no more because of what? Because it wasn't good. Didn't you just say that? Who the hell said it wasn't good in here? You. No. You said it was good. Gun to my head. Okay, so no, there you, you go. looked at me. Gun to my head. I ain't making it no more. Raven, what did I just say? <laughs> That's what I was thinking in my head. Mm, it was mm-hmm, good. Mm-hmm. No, you looked at me. So what? You, she looked at me and like, what are you looking at? Says the person that can't make mac and cheese either. So I'm not supposed to. We just won't be eating mac and cheese in that house. 
See, and that's what she do. She threaten not to cook no more if you don't like the food. <laughs> real people, real issues, real relationships. It's time for the Avery's. Have you heard? 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 heard. All right. So, and not so you know, funny news. Um, Bahamas is right now going through. A huge hurricane. hurricane. Hurricane Dorian has came through, which is a it was a Category Five hurricane, and it came through and pretty much just tore up everything. You see people floating, uh, houses and cars floating, and I mean, terrible. People were up high. They say they built their houses on stilts on purpose, and the water was up to like their their whole lower level of their house was flooded yeah. and they were elevated on stilts which yeah. is really crazy to me but um they said some of the water got up to 30 inches high that's crazy i think that's the high. the good and bad thing about living in Atlanta. i mean i do want an ocean i think that's the only yeah. thing we missing but in a casino but if we had water that shit you know because we so close to the the bottom you know right. What I'm saying? And, but, but the crazy thing is that that that's like bothering me. They can't get no help right now because I mean they can. Uh, airplane is pretty much they. No matter of fact, hold on. Let me see if I read something right. They said there's no sailing or no airport to get out of the island, so the people can't get out. But they're able to fly. You know, they're able to fly things in, mm -hmm. but the people couldn't leave. So they mm -hmm. were just if they didn't leave before they told them to evacuate, they were just stuck. So somebody told us right now, like, Atlanta is about to be fucked up. National disaster, the flood. Would y'all leave? Yeah. Y'all would leave. I would. Okay. I mean, you know, some people just stop. Had... Like, I don't think I can get my grandma and grandfather to leave. No, they wouldn't. I don't think they would leave. But then you know we've had scares before where they say, oh, it's going to be a snowstorm and, and this, this, and that. You need to go buy food. And, and everybody went to the store and bought all the bread and all that stuff out of the store. And then we got... Two inches of snow. Yeah, no snow at all. Like people, so I don't think people in Atlanta would believe it if they said something like That's that. That's why a lot of niggas would die. Yeah. Straight but, up. So a lot of celebrities are trying to help, you know, pledging to give money. Well, that's and good. Donations. Why you say it like, like that? that? I didn't say it like nothing. Uh, I just thought that was dope. You know, um, but, uh, one random dude went and bought 100 generators for people um and the generators are four hundred and fifty dollars each. Ludacris, and uh, thank you. He's he pledging to give a hundred thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Tyler Perry Tyler gave Perry. a million. Yeah. Um, so a lot of people are um, yeah. donating and trying to help. But this is something I thought was super funny. So they said that um, what was it? Uh, like fifteen bricks washed up. Uh, <laughs> in oh, yeah, cocaine. in Florida. Yes, oh, fifteen hard. bricks of cocaine washed up I'm in Florida. Them. And they turned them in. Who? They turned them in. They turned them over to U.S. Customs and Border that's that Protection. Out the ocean? Yep. That's too hard. 15 bricks, nigga. That's yeah. like snowfall living. Yeah. In there. Damn. But they turned them in. You, you never know what all is floating in that water, though, because you got to think about it. These people's houses are pretty much floating away. So everything that was in their houses is just floating. So it could be money, bricks. all type of stuff. I got to get a drug dealer here to get that number right. He probably... Fifteen. Sick no, right but you know, no, no, no. That you know, the Florida coast and all that shit. That's the drop off. So it's like whoosh, boom, they drop them. Some of them don't get picked up. Some of them go swam, go to the bottom of the ocean. So they say it's twenty to thirty thousand for a kilo of cocaine. There you go, mama. I just read it. I oh, you, didn't, you, I didn't that, know. That, don't, that ain't on your paper. <laughs> no, that's that. Yeah, that is not you on your paper. You know, I know. I know about all that stuff. Yeah. You know. I'm, you know I'm. <laughs> There you go, Bazaar. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so, speaking of drugs and kilos washing up, um, uh, uh, yeah. Mac Miller, uh, his drug dealer or supplier of pills that he said was, he gave him a bad batch. Yes, so he has been charged with his death. He's been charged. He said that he uh, laced his pills with. Um, he didn't lace them. That's what they said. He said they gave him a bad dose. I don't know. They say they were laced with fentanyl or however you say that. Fentanyl. fentanyl. Whatever. It's you know, some I, shit I, that I, don't, yeah. Whatever like, it was. They but, it with cocaine now, but it kills you. Like, 
They mixing it with cocaine. And so they're and charging him with his death. With his death, and that that dude was only twenty six years. Old. Wait, no, Mac Miller was twenty six years old. I don't know how much the, the drug dealer was, but yeah, but anyway, he was supposed to be having Percocets. That's what he thought he was getting, but they see, were. That's why I don't buy Percocets. They were laced with other stuff. So yeah. Yep. Anyway, yeah. do you think the drug dealer should have been held accountable for his death? Or Damn right. You think so? Damn right. Yeah. I'm okay. Um, so Nicki Minaj, she put out a, a post today. Why are you looking like that? No reason. Okay, so she went on Twitter today and announced that she is retiring. And Re- did you read the tweet? Yeah. Um, she wrote, I've decided to retire and have my family. I know you guys are happy now. To so my fans, keep repping me. Do it to the death of me. Inbox. Oh, in the box. What was it? It's supposed to be an X in the box because ain't nobody checking me. Love you for life. So she's basically saying she's retiring and she's going to start on her family now. Congrats, how do you, congratulations. How do you feel? You know what, though? I thought she was already pregnant. Like some of them posts she and stuff is. when she was posing like this and like that. and her, I thought she was pregnant. But now... She got to a certain amount of money, she's gonna start her family. And I, I thought she was already pregnant, but I mean, I don't see what the hold up is. Do it like she can take a break and come back and still be okay. Yeah, she, like, she retired. She, Cardi worked through her whole pregnancy, well, and, and Cardi ain't and, got Nikki's track record. I know, y'all. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm naming women that work that rap or perform and, and that work their entire way I mean their whole pregnancy so what I was saying is she didn't she don't even have to work she could just take a break and then come back and do something when she comes so that's why she called done. it retirement she's retiring for... retiring mean you ain't doing it no more Nigga period Jordan retired Jeezy retired too but he just no nah, Jeezy ain't retired he said he did when he retired he said he done now <laughs> um, <laughs> his 10th album anyway yeah. So you think, um, do you think that's a good move for her? Or it's a great she, move for her. Think so? She's been out here for like 15 years. Right. I mean, with. congratulations. Do you think she's now choosing to retire because, like you said, she's been out for 15 years and it's kind of over and done it's with a for little, her? I'm sure it gets a little exhausting at times to try to keep up with the Joneses. Or, you know, just Who keep, are the Joneses? Cardi and, and no, the keep City up in Girls the, and Megan Thee Stallion? And yeah, the race. Oh, okay. The race. And okay. she's a little older now. So, I mean, y'all seen the Hot Girl Summer video. She twerked the hot mess. <laughs> did you see the video where yeah, they did horrible. the sound effects of the chair where <laughs> while she was twerking and all you heard was... <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see that shit. <laughs> and the plastic and stuff. You didn't see. Oh, uh, God. It was you, y'all got to find that video. No, nah, but was... I ain't going to lie. When I see the video, I was like, damn, Nick, why are you trying to twerk against this young ass girl? Shut shit moving. No, it, like, was, it was hilarious. Hilarious. <laughs> but, you know, she can she deserves it to retire. I guess yeah. go. Have a family. Go ahead and have, that. Your, have your baby pity. Have some kids. Have a baby pity. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Let her dude's last name is Petty. So okay. okay, you looked at me like I was. I didn't look at nothing. You know, I'm you lying. get you get offenses offensive I'm, when we talk about Nikki. Nikki. I so I'm just making sure I. Uh, oh my god, Ebony. Move no. on, please. Anyway, so I thought this was an interesting topic that you. I wanted to ask you about this. Uh, a Nashville Catholic school is saying that they are removing all the Harry Potter books, and they're claiming that the spells in those books are real. Okay. They said <laughs> no. They said they uh, the spells present magic as both good and evil, and the curses and spells used in the books are actual curses and spells. Okay. Do you believe that? Cause you're a huge Harry Potter fan. But I, don't so. know, I don't know no fucking spells. I just like the movies. <laughs> but do you think that they're real? Cause you you seem Baby, like even when you real. went to to Disney and you had your wand and you was uh, doing that. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I not supposed to tell uh, nobody yeah, that? Yeah, I rolled it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know when when your niece, your niece, your teenage niece went to I, Disney. I, I, and, I did it, EJ. You, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. okay, I have. Yeah, you know, you I have. Pick, okay, I have so Harry Potter. Tell everybody, picture your wand. They picked your wand out for you. Oh, did a wand that's, ceremony that's, and stuff. It's all for fun and giggles. You baby. got all those toys in the, in your. I'm sorry, collectibles in your room <laughs> and stuff oh like God. that. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Dave Chappelle over here on the road. <laughs> Anyway, back to my question. You ignore my question. Do you feel like the spells in the book? You read a bunch of Harry Potter books, right? Yes, I read all of them. Do you feel like? <laughs> no, he's serious too. Do you feel like they're real? Did, did did they have spells in the books? Yeah, baby. It's yeah, it's part of the book. 
So how do you not know the spells then? I don't. I've never taken a wand and waved it at somebody and said a spell. Do you think so they're real? I don't think they're real. No. Why would they be real? I don't know. It's called but fantasy and shit. Anyway, so, so the um. He, the dude, this is so crazy. He said he consulted with exorcists before making his decision. <laughs> oh, my God. And they confirmed that it was true. Well, maybe it is. I mean, it's, it's some truth to everything. Harry Potter was uh, all made up by a white wa- white woman who was actually um, suffered uh, autism. Really? Yeah. But you know, autistic people are extremely smart. So this bitch, smart. this autism lady. <laughs> They're extremely smart. She thought They're about that whole fucking dang, world in her dang. head. <laughs> wrote it, wrote, what, seven books? And that's what she came out with. And she's a fucking billionaire. A autistic woman. That's crazy. I told you, autistic people are really smart. Straight just nerd, like, bitch, though. They don't like to be London. around people. And, you know. It's crazy. Right. Yeah, they don't like to be touched. Sometimes... They the take a while to talk smart. and stuff, but they be super duper smart. Like, um, did y'all know an autism person? Uh, autistic. autistic, sorry, autism. An autistic person, um, is the guy. It's a movie I seen it. Um, he's the one that created the, the rotation of how cattle are put, uh, like how they die when we kill them to eat them and shit. Like he made the machine. He's an autistic dude. Like, hmm. re- like don't want nobody to touch him. He had to be hugged by his mom every three minutes. He created the machine. He lived on a farm and he created the machine. How you know how we kill cattle to eat them? It's crazy, and he's a fucking trillionaire. So I don't know. There's nothing wrong with having kids who are autistic. I think you know, no, that's not no kind of um, yeah. nothing wrong with having kids with no kind of issues. You Facts. love them just the same. There you go. All right. All right. Uh, Good topics that today, is man. It for my topic. Like that. That was great. Great job today. The food is here, baby. The food is here. <laughs> and it looks hearty today. It looks really good. Shout out to my dog, Chef John. What up, what up? What up, Johnny? What's going on? What have you prepared today, brother? Um, Some slow smoke brisket. Slow smoke. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Slow smoke, man. Slow <laughs> smoke, my nigga. Life so when you say slow... How long is slow? Um, 16 so how hours. How slow is slow? Oh. 16 hours. Slow okay. Slow. Yeah. On low heat. Low and slow. <laughs> and, uh, okay. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> how long okay. do you slow your brisket, man? Huh? How long do you slow your brisket? How long do I slow my brisket? Slow roast your bi- brisket. <laughs> <laughs> First off, I ain't slow roasting nothing. You so like, that's like putting in a crock pot. Same thing. Mm-mm. Mm, not necessarily. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Okay, well, sorry, we cut you off. It's all what good. did we have today? Slow smoke brisket. <laughs> okay. Slow smoke. Slow smoke. And um, come on, man. And it's accompanied by some garlic mashed potatoes. Accompanied. And- Accompanied, uh, a green medley has uh, green beans, asparagus, and broccolini in there. Um, and I put a little bit of herb oil on there with some uh, homemade barbecue sauce. I see the broccoli. I ain't got no broccoli. So, I do. Oh, you I ate it already. Yeah, no broccoli. I just ate it. That oh. was a little bit piece okay. right there. <laughs> mm. What's up, bro? You good? I'm good, man. Just working. It's a little salt. What's this bread to catch the sauce or something? Yeah, man. The Texas toast under there. Okay. Um, and the onion those, thing, the onion bloom on top. Yes, sir. I like that. Fried onion onions, bloom. Fried onions on yeah, top. Yeah, Outback. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. This is good. Thank you. You said mm-hmm. you put some herb oil. Uh huh. Homemade herb oil. Really? Mhm. Did you hear the news? What What's the news? Ebony made mac and cheese. <laughs> what? From scratch. I had. What? I did, but it How wasn't was it? like. The kitchen was a mess. Oh, yeah. The kitchen was definitely a mess. Yikes. But. She got it everywhere. Yikes. I didn't Cheese get sauce? it everywhere. Huh. You made it no, from scratch. Did you I have did, any instructions in doing so? I or? did have instructions, but they made me do a roux. Right. With flour. She right. it on Instagram. That's what was everywhere. That's what he talked about was uh, everywhere. So. Okay. All right. But yeah, it, was, it does start off with a roux. Traditional roux. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, cool. So are you a flour man or egg man? I don't like egg. See? I like flour. She See? used flour. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's traditionally with a roux. roux. It's always a fat and a solid. 
Okay. Yeah. So I've made mine with like duck fat and flour. Mm-hmm. Duck um, fat. Not yeah. fancy like you, bro. Where do you find stuff like that at? Like Whole Foods, nigga. Nah, that's some nigga shit that somebody came up with. Yeah, you don't have to use egg. Oh. Yep. I said it. Yeah. yeah. I said you don't it. have to use it. You don't have no. to use egg. <laughs> See, the egg is really just a binder. That's all it is. And if you Niggas use really flour, don't know what it's right. If you flour, you said, don't have to do I ain't that. got no more flour. Use some egg. <laughs> right. Exactly. That's, that's how that shit happens. Egg. Exactly. That's exactly how that shit happens. And my that baby boy. my baby is allergic to egg, so I try not to give her as much stuff with egg in it. So Yeah. The egg is just and a natural And she loves mac and cheese. So. Yeah. But next time, I got a little few tweaks I need to do. And it'll be good. It'll be better. It wasn't nasty this time. It just wasn't what I was expecting it to be. So, okay. how you make your mac and cheese? With a roux, and then I will cook it down really slow. Put the heat on low, so you won't scorch the bottom of the pan. Mm-hmm. And then um, I add a little. What kind like, of cheese do you use? I use smoked gouda, and I'm gonna use white cheddar. Uh, Babe, why you use smoked gouda? I didn't. They, I had so many different options of cheese. I don't know. You use I mean, cheddar, but cheddar. traditionally you use Velveeta. You I know, use right? sharp. Oh, sharp. I yeah. use mild. And then cheddar. And, I, uh, uh, and, and the and Mexican I use, toast I, cheese. I, I, um, you use the Mexican mixed taco I grated, cheese? The Kobe no. and the cheddar? It was it was white. Um, I forgot which cheese it was. It was white? It was white. And I grinded it. I mean, I grated it myself. Other oh, one was the bag. It. The other one was just the bag cheese. What's y- what y'all okay. laughing at? He's oh, swinging that damn knife. knife. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I put this in there and I just... <laughs> <laughs> Slow down, bro. Relax. Anyway, but yeah, like I said, next time I'll know what to do, so it'll be perfect next time. Cool. I she did good though. That's what's up. I, I mean, happy. for your first time, that's what's up. Yeah, I was happy. I thought it was gonna be horrible. Really? Yeah. Well, what? if he said it was good, I know it was good. I mean, I'll tell the truth. If it was nasty, I'll tell you, and I just I tell you, but it wasn't. If it nasty. was nasty, I would have. Probably not though. It <laughs> comes with the job, you know. You gotta. Yeah, you've well, yeah. told me when stuff is nasty. Never. Before. Or actually, you don't tell me when it's nasty. You I just don't you. go back for seconds. So there when you go. you go back for seconds, uh, okay. and I know that it wasn't that bad, and you actually got more mac and cheese. <laughs> so. Oh, so you watched them go back for a yeah, second? I yeah, I made no, I made a plate the next day. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, that's good. But it was good once you microwaved it. Yeah. Oh, it's always better the next and day. And then he mixed it with my beans, mm. my famous beans that everybody eats. So, yeah. Cool. You know. But moving on. Did, Thank you, you, did you barbecue for Labor Day or anything special? I didn't. I rest. I rested on Labor Day, man. I Must was be nice. I was tired. To rest. I had a lot going on. We rested on Labor Day. Oh, nigga. oh yeah, we did get that. Slept, oh babe. boy, we got oh, the my coolest God. sleep, bro, ever. Baby. That's what's nigga. up. Nigga. On so was it Sunday? It was, it was Monday. Monday. Monday, Monday my nigga. Sleep. My mama, my mama took the kids. Oh. Bro, she that took was the super kids. No, nigga, we were in our drawers <laughs> from seven a.m. Let me tell you, we went to 7 sleep. PM. We went to sleep at ten o'clock. Ten o'clock, like just no, we nigga, went to but sleep. but from chilling in the bed all day. Yeah, and then Damn. we we took a nap and then went the night for real, rent the bed. Mm-hmm. Damn, like so, we took a nap all day, off and on. Go get food, watch the TV, watch a movie, Came sleep, back. sleep, play, you know, whatever stupid shit, and then. Like, all right, babies go to bed. And then go to sleep. And, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That's the best, though. Nigga woke up lit as hell. <laughs> <laughs> For real. That's what's up. We needed that. We definitely need that. But, yeah. So, yeah, man. Um... Thank you for the food. Absolutely. Tell them where to follow you at on social media. Bro. You can follow me at Chef John 27 on Instagram. You can also visit my website at www.chefjohncaters.com. Facts. Fact the mundo. Cuffing the mundo. season. Cuffing season. You ready for it? You already cuffed somebody. I've been cuffed, yeah. So <laughs> are you gonna, Can we look at her Instagram right now? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, okay. Hey, hey, oh. Are we making it public now? Your, hey, somebody go get J-Rock. Uh, I should no. try and get a girl for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, what's her name? Him. What's her Instagram? <laughs> I mean, I ain't going to put her out there like that. Oh, what? Oh, you're going to let us see it. I'm going to let y'all gonna... see it. Oh, yeah, yeah, damn, you can't man. shout her you out on what? national podcasts. You know what it is, well, though? Well, you know, you keep people out your business. Exactly. That's less you know problems. what I'm saying? I less problems. You, know. you secure. You good? Yeah, I am good. Are you competing still? Nah. What the fuck you worry about then? It's other hoes competing. Hoes? She is a hoe? Absolutely not. You just no, said she, you said other hoes. It's other hoes, not her. She, not other her. hoes no, I are say, trying to I get. I said, is she competing? You said oh, other no, hoes. Oh no, I thought you said mine competing. Be. Okay, nah, no, no, no. She ain't no hoe. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Smoke break, y'all. Sorry. Smoke break. What you say, though? I said, nah, she ain't no hoe. You know what I'm saying? She... Are you finding yourself cooking more than she's supposed to be cooking? Actually, so she's a I'm... chef. Yeah, I'm a chef. She is a chef. She's I know you're a, a damn chef. That's why you're here. <laughs> No, she's not a, a rapper, nigga. <laughs> Absolutely not. Come on. No, nah, she. <laughs> Damn, bro, this shit knocking Damn. my ass out. Go ahead. Um, nah, actually, man, she 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 kind of takes that role. She, you know, oh, she, she came cooks? over. To, yeah, she she cooks. She don't have no kids, huh? She don't have no kids. Okay, yeah, that she explains. She came over. To That's crib. why she cooking. That explains. Clean it. the kitchen. That explains it. She ain't got no kids. She ain't got no kids. Hold on, EJ, you did all that shit too. When I ain't had no kids. I mean, I do it now. Yeah. But I, that's because I have to. Back then. You didn't have to do it then. Back then, I didn't have to do it, but I just did it. But you did, did it to get my attention. That's right. Uh, that's that's what she doing. That's uh, why I got a why ring. Why you cleaning my house? That's why I got a ring. Yeah. Nigga, See? I remember. Listen, but I never forget I that shit. But now I gotta do it. It was a big ass <laughs> party I threw at the house. Nigga, probably people everywhere fucked up, drunk, naked and shit. Uh-huh. Everybody left. And nigga, this nigga girl EJ was outside in the backyard, nigga, like six in the morning, picking up all the cups and that's, shit. Man, I see, seen that girl. That's when I fell in love. My dick literally got hard because I was already naked. Son, I just said that to my girl the other day. I look at her. I'm looking through the window like, are you fucking serious? serious? Right, that's, nigga. She was outside cleaning shit with a trash bag. Everybody left already. My nigga. I that's why I was like, oh yeah, no, nah, I'm done, bro. Like she's the one. I did the same thing. She don't even week. know that moment. That's really that's what kind it is. of like what I was like, yeah. I yeah. told her, I said, it's, just, it's the little shit. You know what I'm saying? That was a little shit. Hmm. Okay. She don't remember that moment. Small really. details. Remember, it's a small but... detail. And that's what really and, and she used to. Before. She used to wash my sheets more than once, or twice a month for me. That's what's. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, not if I'm nah, not nah, staying there. I, I, didn't I didn't get the memo most about how to wash sheets. Don't know that. I wash them when they get dirty. Uh, yeah, that's most men. They won't wash their well, sheets unless there's some spots or something on it or something like that. Spill a little Kool Aid in the bed. Sometimes it get wavy. Coochie juice in the bed. or something. Yeah, coochie, yeah, that's coochie too. juice yeah, too. Yeah, that too. All right, y'all, we getting away from this food part. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, Chef John. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate you. Yeah. Congratulations on your cuffing season. Uh, we would like to see the girl picture. Yeah, yeah I got you. We forgot. You just um, nosy. That's all it is. We didn't want to see. You just was. Did nosy. you enjoy the brisket? I did. It's good. Thank I just you. have a toothache, so I'm trying my best to work with what I can. And I'm. Just... I told you to go get that doodle chew. Uh huh. That's what Damn, you get. Uh huh. I told you to get nope. that doodle. Mm-mm. Fix the tape. Nope. nope. I told you to get that doodle <laughs> tooth. Look that. Anyway. Womp, womp, I know, right? Womp. Thank you, Chef John. No problem. Time to let the fun begin with game time with the Avery, powered by Sirox. Sirox. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's game time! Yeah. And today, oh we are playing Holiday's Hot Seat. Fire! Because today we have the infamous, the one and only, the hometown hero, Chef John, y'all. Yeah. He's getting in the hot seat today. He is committed to sitting in the hot seat, and the hot seat is very hot, sir. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. These are questions that uh, have no boundaries. I will ask you things that you have to answer because you're in the hot seat. Yikes. All you right. cannot lie. Don't lie. All right, I won't lie. You ready? I'm ready. Are you ready for your hot seat questions? I'm ready for my hot seat Here questions. we go. Chef John's in the hot seat. <laughs> Question number five. <laughs> and they get better. Lights. Question number five. Doom, doom, doom. You ready? I'm ready. When was the last time you watched porn? Uh, a couple of hours ago, actually. <laughs> Did you wash your hands before you made our food? Of course. Before or after you made the brisket? <laughs> this was way before. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that, brother. Uh, well, Why the fuck are you watching porn before you making food? I was there at the is house. Is that what arouses you to make brisket for 12 hours? I mean, I was at that the crib. That is not sanitary, sir. I was at the crib. The food was way already done already. Uh, Why the fuck was you watching porn a few hours ago, bro? Because my girl sent me some some freaky shit, and I was like, all right, I'm with it. So just kind of, I got turned on, and I was like, well, fuck it. She not here, so I want some porn. Okay, cool. Thank you for sharing. This is your game, and you didn't want, like, you want honest answers. I mean, he has. Question number four. (laughs) Question number four. I'm ready. I'm ready. When the last time you ate booty? Uh, I've never eaten booty. Are you lying? Absolutely not. Never. Never. Okay, cool. Never even slipped. Hmm. Hmm. Childish. Do you want to eat booty? Uh, no. 
You don't want to eat your girl's booty? No. Okay. Why not? Um, because there are some things that you cannot wash off with the soap that travels in our fecal matter. So I've just decided that's not for me. Stop using big words. Come okay. On. <laughs> if you don't know what that means, I then. know, Ebony. Shut up. It's a brisket. <laughs> Question number three. I'm going to put you in the high school. Are you ready? I'm ready. When was the last time you seen a penis and not your own? And it was kind of... A couple hours ago, I was watching porn. <laughs> so you seen it and you liked it? Or you just no, seen it? I liked just, it. <laughs> it's in porn. Like, what was that? What, what, what do you type in uh, when you type in look at porn? I go to my favorite no, site. No, what's your title? Because everybody has a title. Big Titties. Big Titties yeah, is your title? That's my shit. <laughs> What? Big titties is your title. Yeah. Big black titties. <laughs> <laughs> Ebony, what's yours? I don't watch porn. Well, when you did watch porn. I didn't watch porn. I don't uh, watch porn. When you masturbate, what do you do? I don't watch porn. Do you think of something? Mm-hmm. What do you think about? <laughs> think about? <laughs> what do you think about? <laughs> Idris Alba, what'd you say? <laughs> Idris Alba. <laughs> Question number two. Who's the last family member you ignored <laughs> when they called you? Uh, don't lie. My aunt Lois. Dang, yeah. why you do aunt Lois like Dang, that, bro? Aunt yeah. Lois. Yeah, no. Cause she know. She's annoying. She's yeah. annoying. I just gotta be honest. <laughs> she ain't listening she, to she the podcast. My life. That's why he's. And and that. question number one, you booed up. I you, am. You're booed excited. Up. You're happy. Yeah. Well, what's the one thing you hate about your woman? I haven't seen it yet. No, you're lying. I'm, no, that's the dead ass true. I have not seen it yet. She she's very methodical in everything that she does. Um, you know, methodical. See, yeah, you still in the damn honeymoon dictionary? Stage. Let me look that up real quick. She has Keep a going. method about everything she does. I was just playing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, nah, playing. she's she's cool. She's um, you know, she she really takes she she takes a personal interest in the small things. It's like you know when we eat. She puts my plate out. She lays my, my okay. silverware out and stuff like that. Real, yeah. you know, nice shit. Okay. In in this room right now, if you had to smash one person, oh not my, my wife. God. Of course not. <laughs> not my wife. Who would it be? What? If oh I had God. to smash You had to. You had, had to, to, to keep the keep, to keep the ecosystem good. <laughs> to keep it going. And the popula the, oh the my God. population. Does that have to be just one? You gotta fuck one person. Damn, just one. Who would It'd it probably be, be Nay, because we just Ooh. I feel like, I feel like I feel like me and Nate, we we connect. What position yeah. would you try? Oh my God, Robert! This Your hot seat, seat questions are over. This is the hot seat. Your hot seat. seat. You only had five questions. This can go as long as I First want it to go. go. It's my hot seat. What you're missing? My hot seat. Damn it. The, the seat is only hot if you're hot. Yeah. So I'm good. What you know position what would you try? Um. Oh my God. What what position do you think Nate is good at? Oh my God. She looks kind of like. Simple, like so. It might just she be might like, be like a lazy rider, yeah, like a lazy rider or something. Yeah, like she that. would do it for like ten minutes. And be like, all right, I'm good. Owie, I'm gone. All right, I'm done. Something all right, like cool. That. All right, cool. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. thanks, man. I see. Yeah. Wasn't that bad? Man. I see. All right, cool. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Man. Let's get into the fan mail. Hey, baby. Hi. Come on back to your seat. Okay. <laughs> Need advice about love, marriage, and relationships? Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. We'll send your fan mail. It's time for Ask the Avery. All right, let's get into the fan mail, baby. Yeah, fan mail. Fan mail? Fan mail. You heard about the fan mail? I got it. Right here. All right. <laughs> All right. So, okay, this one says, Dear the Avery's. <laughs> I'm 26 years old, and I'm talking to someone with eight kids. She... Leave, motherfucker. Yeah, get listen, the fuck out ASAP. Listen, she okay. wants more, but I'm not sure I'm ready for the it. commitment and to be responsible for all those darn kids. Should I break it off, or yes. should I stay with her? P.S. I love the show. Break it off. Roll out. P.S. Thank you. Man, you got to go. Roll Got out. to go. Roll out, son. Shoot. Got to go, nigga. Eight kids? Eight motherfucking kids. I know all of them ain't by one nigga. And she wants some more? Yeah. Mm-mm. Are you my daddy? Yeah. She's yeah, very I, fertile. I'm sorry to the woman that has the eight kids, but I wouldn't. That's a lot of goddamn kids. And you're only 26. You're super young. You haven't like, lived your life for real yet. She yeah. must have that, that good thing. 
you taking on responsibility for eight kids. That's a lot. Well, I not just, necessarily. He ain't like, well, he ain't like with her. Well, for I mean, real, if he gonna real. be with her, you never know. Nah, like, bro. a girl who got eight kids ain't got no time for shit. I'm sorry. Is this for real? That's true. That's crazy. That is crazy. Yeah, I wouldn't stay. I'm sorry. I, I but just, her house smell like. That's not true. Oh, Pampers and Johnson and Johnson. Man, how old are these kids? <laughs> what if she got the cleanest house anybody ever seen? Shit, I don't know. No don't don't do no judging. There. Okay, mom. Damn. Jeez. I can imagine my house would look like with eight kids. Fuck. That's crazy. That's right. nine motherfuckers in one house. That's a lot. That's a lot of motherfuckers. Well, <laughs> we gave you our advice. I'm sorry. I don't know if it helped you or not, but you yeah. know, if you really love her, I guess, man, work, work, work through it. But uh, wrap it up. Work. Eight, eight kids is a lot, do. brother. Eight fertile, yeah, fertile. That's a lot. You need to get Super that. Fertile. Get that bag right, brother. Right. Yeah. Yeah, man. All right. Well, that is it. I got a question. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I had a conversation with a dude the other day, and he was like. Dude. Yes, Who just you to? you'll know when I talk about the conversation. I better be there. I better so, have been there. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I had a conversation with a dude the other day, and he was talking about a girl. He was like, you know, she bad, she real pretty, and such and such, but her feet are messed up. So my question to you is, how important are pretty feet? In a relationship, and is that a deal breaker if the girl does not have, I mean, not necessarily pretty feet or decent feet. It doesn't have to be pretty, but decent feet. Okay. Um, you know, I've always been like a face guy, in in body wise, but you know, I'm not that shallow where your feet got to be perfect. But you know, you got a couple of hammer time corns. It's cool. I ain't gonna be mad at you. I'm gonna just prepare <laughs> for wear socks and prepare for the storm. Shoes yeah, all prepare the time. for the storm. You know what I'm saying? But so it's not a deal breaker for you. Yeah, nah, hell no, nah, not for me. I don't care about no damn feet. Mm. But they they fucked up like some stupid crazy. Yeah, I'm just it's, gonna, really. So I'm you would be shallow like like boomerang. I'm not gonna be would. shallow. I just said I never really looked at feet like that. But yeah, man, I mean, them shits look crazy. And yeah, like black toenails and shit. You know, I just feel like if your feet are fucked up to that point, then you should probably invest in getting some work done. Okay, to so them. just say that she don't have black toenails or or nothing like that. She just got bad looking feet. Mm-hmm. Is that a deal breaker? Like she don't have no corns, no black toenails. Some girls just got Fat rough looking feet. toes. And how your feet? What'd you rate your feet, feet from one to ten? My feet are cute. They just fat. I feel like I got flat. I mean, fat, rate your feet from one to ten. Fat, cute toes. You gonna rate your feet? I don't know how to rate feet. Have you ever seen her feet? <laughs> seen her feet. Okay, but anyway, I feel like I got fat, cute toes. I never had any complaints about my toes. Yeah. But anyway, so uh, like I said, if they don't have corns and black toenails, they got you know they get their pedicures every week. They just got messed up looking feet. Is that would you? Yeah, deal breaker nah, for me. No, it ain't a deal breaker. I no, like your fat feet. I'm cool with them. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. I could have not. You know, Are you a toe sucker, oh, Chef yeah. John? Yeah, Am I toes? I did suck some toes this week. <laughs> I did. You got barbecue you got. sauce on the motherfuckers and everything. Barbecue you sauce. put barbecue sauce on them. Sure did. Man, oh, John, wow. shut your ass up, man. You ain't suck nobody toes. <laughs> all no right, so that's all the sauce. questions that I have for tonight. What, so uh, is, is ugly feet for a guy deal breaker? Yeah, you? I was here. I'm still with you. Oh my oh, god, I'm that's just the wackiest playing, joke babe. ever. <laughs> womp womp. Anyway, thank you guys so much. We appreciate the love and support, man. Episode 44. We appreciate it. Uh, Chef John, tell on the fire you again. Bro, at Chef John 27 on IG. Ebony, follow me at Risky Business 23. Follow me at DJ Holiday and follow our podcast page at Dinner with the Avery's. And if you have any questions that you want us to answer for fan mail or any guests, or if you're a chef that wants to come on the show, then you can send us an email at asktheavery's at gmail.com or you can send us a DM. Thank y'all so much. God bless you. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, and night. We love y'all. We go. Goodbye.